All right, let's go to day two. And let's take a look at the language arts portion, adding quotation marks and commas where they are needed. Now, we have covered this and done some of it, but it's still, we forget sometimes. So don't stress out if you don't remember. So we have to look first for our dialogue tags. Now, our dialogue tags are who's saying it, this little part. Um, so I'm gonna show you a little thing. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, but we're going to look at some dialogue tags. So, Jose asked, do you think it will rain today? Well, Jose asked is our dialogue tag. Uh, what about, i got to look at it this way. I have a new umbrella, explained Emily, and I am excited to try it out. You probably can't see it. Um, explained Emily is the dialogue tag. Who's saying it? And our last one we look at, why don't you check the weather forecast on your phone, suggested Carly. Suggested Carly is our dialogue tag. Now, we, when we're doing this, we're gonna remember that we're gonna use some commas around the dialogue tag. So, first thing we're going to look at is our quotation marks. Our quotation marks go around the words that somebody is saying. So we say that's dialogue. When somebody says words, those are our quotations. And we put our quotation marks around the words that are being said. So Mrs. Yersetti said, everybody get their book out. The quotation marks would be around, everybody get their book out. That's what I said. So we're gonna look at a couple examples here too. So a couple examples, and I know it's really hard to see, and I will upload these so you can see these examples on Google Classroom as well. But we're gonna look here. Um, so if the dialogue text comes at the beginning of the sentence, include a comma before the quotation. So see that comma? It's before. So example, Avery said, comma, look at that giant tree. And that quotation marks are around look at that giant tree. Now, if the dialogue tag comes at the end of a sentence, use a comma instead of a period to end the quotation. So let's take a look. I am very tired right now, comma, in that quotation mark, William said as he yawned. All right, so we're gonna do two examples. I'm gonna do two examples with you here. First, we're gonna find our dialogue tag, and then we're going to find what is the person saying. So this is your number one. I love going to the Natural History Museum, exclaimed Ananya. Well, first of all, did she say that? Did she say, I love going to the Natural History Museum? No, she put an exclamation mark there. She's excited. I love going to the Natural History Museum. So where should I put that comma here? I'm gonna have a comma because it's gonna go show that there's that dialogue tag. So. I love going to, am I gonna have a comma? No, I'm not. There's punctuation already there. Sorry, I got switched on to number two already in my head. Sorry, see I told you there'd be mistakes, just like being at school. So I love going to the Natural History Museum. That's what she said. So there's already punctuation here. We do not need to put a comma. So we're gonna put our quotation mark there. I love going to the Natural History Museum. Quotation marks and those quotation marks, you have to end them after that punctuation. Exclaimed Ananya, that is our dialogue tag. So let's look at number two. I usually go see the animals first, replied Noah, and then I go to the planetarium. Well, let's look at what our dialogue tag is. Hmm, who is saying it? Let me read that sentence again. Afro Seminole Creole. Alexa. Alexa. Stop. Is she gonna stop? I must have. I guess I want to know about Ananya. It is a pretty cool name. Okay, so let's take a look. I usually go see the animals first, replied Noah, and then I go to the planetarium. Who is talking here? It's Noah. And what's that little part? It says, replied. So our who is saying it and what they did, Noah replied is our dialogue tag. We have our dialogue tag here in the middle of this sentence. So let's first start looking at our quotation marks. What did Noah say? Noah said, I usually go see the animals first. Boom, that's it. 
So quotation mark. Now, because there's no punctuation here at the end of this, I'm gonna put a comma. Because our sentence isn't over. And that for in this case, the quote is not over. So I usually go see the animals first. Reply Noah, that's my tag. Comma. Because I'm gonna end that with a tag as well, or with a comma as well, to say that tag is over. Now we're going back to the rest of what Noah said. And then I go back to, then I go to the planetarium. Again, we had two sets of quotation marks in one sentence. So I want you to work on three through eight and see what you can do. Um, I think that this is one of those skills that not only is very important, you are going to use this skill, and I know I say it all the time, you're gonna use this skill forever. You're going to use it, but a lot of adults don't maintain this skill very well. So I'm gonna do day two's um, reading comprehension passage. I'm going to do that on a separate video, so stay tuned.